right, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Dan once again for episode number four of Baldur's Gate 3. So we just got into the village, did some trading. Dan's going to kind of orchestrate this episode because he was just asking me what I'd like to see in this episode. So we're just, just gonna, we're just going to have some fun. We'll probably play about an hour or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm I'm. Dan looks like he's popping the top on something new. Yeah, I got myself some strawberry citrus. Uh, Working really nice. So I I actually am just finishing off beverages I started and didn't finish. So I have I have a watermelon lemonade, some vitamin water, tropical mango, and some good old Bobby Boucher approved H H, -H Holmes. <laughs> cheers to episode four, Dan. Yeah, let's cheers. get let's get it. Oh yeah. Let's see where our dice rolls end up today. Yeah, and this time we'll remind each other more jelly belly rolls. More jelly belly rolls. Because <laughs> we to make up for this. We've literally done one per episode, so <laughs> not acceptable. And I have this thing of hot sauce just waiting. So I'm gonna suit up and I'll accept. I'll accept Dan's invite to uh, to get this party started. Takes me just a minute to uh, turn the volume back up on the game to where it belongs. And then I have to accept. Sorry for the audio glitch. It's the way it is. Aha! Well, we are back into this game. I'm excited. This is good. This is, good. This is freaking good stuff. Yeah, so we're kind of learning about a little bit of uh, these tieflings that have ended up at this druid grove for some reason. Don't quite know the full backstory yet, uh, but we were told there's a healer here by uh, right. at least somebody. I didn't mean to talk we to him. We should train against real goblins. <laughs> That's okay. He didn't have that much to say anyway. He was just bored. All right, Dan, I'm going to let you lead the way on this one. All right. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to end up heading down kind of further into the grove here. There's a chest that's locked that um, as long as the chests are white in color, like you can interact with it, it's white and not have, it doesn't have a red outline, you're not stealing. So it's kind of one of those things. If you're having trouble, like, getting it, you can also use left and right on your D-pad to toggle to that thing that you want to look at a little easier. But we're going to have Asterion with the lock here with his roguey bonuses. Nice. Which are a lot. I mean, uh, you can see on my screen, there's just a couple more than what you had uh, when you tried it last time. My Better success in rolling. And he's going to get a natural 20. Huh. So now that's picked, uh, you can go for the chest to your leisure. Sweet. Alright. So we're gonna get head down here and kinda see what's going on with these druids. Please, that's rude. It is perfect. And I am in a She's conversation. A so you got pulled in and you will wait for Koga's judgment. Now get back! Oh shoot! Oh! Let me through, or I'll rip <laughs> it down throat. You guys got to not see our video for the first 30 seconds. That was great. Sorry, glitch. Oh boy. <laughs> My bad, guys. Come I, on. I forgot to switch chance. over. You, get back. Good thing I noticed. Uh, oh yeah. So they are not fans of us trying to get in either. There you go. No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, we kind of just saved your dumbass grove from some goblins, so thanks for letting us through. Right? 
Yeah, sorry guys, I was in my in my intro screen. I forgot to switch over. Um, speaking of, now that we're here, yes. Now that we're here, and I can actually do this, I'm gonna let Dan roll because he's gonna give us bad luck. Uh, so te te <laughs> technically, that's three hots. Ooh. I'm gonna let you spin. Jalapeno. Habanero, and I don't even know if we have that many. I think I do. One, two, three habaneros. There are three habaneros in there for you. There's one. Mm. I'm gonna have to order more hot jelly beans, you guys. I am running low. Three need habaneros. Need the big box version. Right. Here we go. One, two, three. What have you heard? Now we're gonna go up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And. Mm. Oh yeah, I'll see here. Ooh, that hits you right in the back. Say, you know, Macaulay Coke can look a little different. Home Alone there. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's hot, dude. Ooh. I'm a little sensitive today. That'll open you up. My okay. Alas, All right. To Lead the way, Daniel. So first you should talk to this gentleman right here. He's a very entertaining person. My good friend, you were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. <laughs> Glory. <sighs> now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. <laughs> okay. Goblins were of a rare gem colored hue and wielded magic blowguns <laughs> and the dragon they had marching in the rear was it of the brass or silver variety <laughs> witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon <laughs> Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god Maglaviet in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! <laughs> ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Huh? Until we meet again. <laughs> okay. Oh, friend. What can you tell me about this place? So, uh, in the world, certain interactions with certain people, uh, you may encounter them again further on in the game. Gotcha. Or you can completely ignore them, and uh, yeah, there's different consequences based on that. Too. 
Yeah. It's interesting. All right, where to? All right. So uh, you were seeking a fight, and I have just the fight in mind. First, we will take a small little short rest and get some health. Back. Oh, Make nothing. sure we're topped off. Still alive. So that's progress. But based on what you're observing right now, um, what do you think is ahead? It's beautiful. Some type of sea battle? Um, <laughs> I mean, you're not that far off. Sea creature-ish battle. Sounds like a, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, what the heck are those things called? You know, the siren. Sleepy right. Sounds like a siren song to me. Shh. Listen. Kid. She's distracting your brain. See, it's purple. Your eye color, kid. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Ah! So if I zoom in, it actually like zooms in on whoever's turn taking a turn. It's kind of cool. Yep. Who do I have in range here? One. Maybe. Hmm. There's two. What's it? There we go. What did you just do, pray tell? Oh, harpy. What happened? That'll shut you up. <laughs> you silenced her? Almost killed her. Got one HP left. But one, it disrupted her concentration on the luring spell. One. One HP. One HP. <laughs> that was another one. Yeah, I was trying to say it was two. Of them. Ah! Ah! So now you have an opportunity attack. So because the enemy is moving away from you without disengaging, you now get a free shot at the enemy. Uh, yes, please. What? There's more? What kind of crap is that? Hey! Hey! Okay, so that is me. Yep. You're controlling your cleric shot. I am trying to figure out... Okay, there's, there is one right behind us. So yellow line going through the water means that you'll be slowed down if you enter that zone, so you don't have your full movement speed. It's difficult terrain. Gotcha. Yes! Eat it! Let's see here, where are we at? Not too bad. You can give that to anybody. Boom, you just made yourself two armor classes harder to hit than what you currently have. As long as Shadowheart uh, doesn't lose concentration on that spell, I'm getting hit. 
All right, so first thing first. I have more stuff. All right, so I think I want to. Try to hold so, this sculpture for you. Frenzy. Yes, friendly fire is a thing in this game. No, frenzy. Oh, frenzy. Yeah. yeah. So that's a frenzied rage, so that gives you your new rage abilities, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Just to shut them up, uh, I'm going to silence them so they can't use their cell Gotcha. Run, kid. Get out of there. We'll handle this. All right, Huck. Let's see it. No sneak attack. You can use a regular shot. <laughs> On health again. Just my luck. <laughs> Fly! There we go. Insane. Alright, now we have to resist being seduced. Okay. Is there any special... You want to handle the one that's in front of you. Oh god, yeah, behind you, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'll so, snipe the just, stinger. Just attack? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Critical hit, but not dead. Still really dead. Pummel! Opportunity attack. I figured I'd just get <laughs> Alright. More songs. Thank you. Alright. Still on my feet. Die, Bianch! Health. Uh, are they gone? <laughs> Can't you tell? They're all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing, if you find soap in this game and you use it, it will remove all the blood off your character if they're bloody. That's funny. <laughs> no. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. That's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mom will be so mad. Wait, um, you should meet Mom. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Now we can loot our heart's content. Stupid harpies. Say herpes? Herpy harpies. <laughs> Love how it has like a bloody trail. But yeah, <laughs> you run through the blood, it sticks to your boots. Alright. Our next order of business should probably be to go talk to that healer. Well, detour over here. Keep their confidence if you insist. Hmm. So we said Kaga wants to talk to us in the grove. Yeah, and so right here. Yeah. 
I mean, have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her. Just follow. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a a what? Wrath. A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. I'm away. We'll wait at this question. In the meantime, I'm not gonna do the jelly belly thing on the screen because I don't want to screw up my decision, but I'm gonna go ahead and spin. No, we already did that one. Ugh. We already did that one too. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what Tradition. that is. You know what that is, don't you? <laughs> Freaking Laura's um, bandage. Unfortunately. Alright, so this is pomegranate or old bandage. Or as Dan would like to say, Laura's bandage. Laura's bandage. Oh, dear God. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. The good for Dan. Mm -mm. <laughs> they do exist. And which stand which, corrected. Which <laughs> <laughs> this 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 is for you for that one. He didn't fall. Inconceivable. <laughs> you keep using the horse. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> yeah, it is inconceivable that you actually got a prom a pomegranate. And for, I never do. Right? I, uh, <laughs> I tell you what, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I am going to have to just say that. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is this is a good one for you. <laughs> Tastes like poop. Tastes like poop. <laughs> Tastes like poop. And then, <clears throat> oh, I gotta do this one. Nah, we're good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta drink. I gotta eat another drink. I, I just seriously, I cannot get rid of that. Uh, Honestly, after the habaneros, I'm surprised I can taste it. It's cold. And that's what I call high quality a duo. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Good old quality, quality H2O. All right. Girl, you mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. I mean, that falls for children, right? Still. Eats our food, Devil. takes our Tila stuff. is restless. <laughs> Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. Not a teenager yet, though. Which means she's only going to get worse. <laughs> I kind of love that all your barbarian answers are like in full caps with yeah. large periods. <laughs> Ar Arnold right now as Conan the Barbarian would be like, do it now! <laughs> Lull. Lull. Hey, let me, uh, oh, sorry. I was not actually able to add the gun, so that's okay. I... Very well. Ah! Sip, Tila, to me! Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holson will- Halson isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Hmm. What do you got to say, lady? He's got an exclamation point. Yep. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. 
It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? <laughs> Conversation shouldn't be made. It should be grown. Let the seeds sprout in their own time. <laughs> right, the ladies, man. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Increased your approval rating of you, that's good. Kind of has a Mass Effect type thing in this game. Right. With companions, too. It's awesome. She likes her privacy. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. Interesting. Okay, we've got a little sub-objective we can speak with. The, uh, the, the really nice lady over here that was going to kill the child with her snake. Kind of reminds me of my sister-in-law. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? <coughs> You're a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm. Free of intruders. Reach for your weapon. <laughs> I am first druid now. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. Spoken like a true leader. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Hmm. She's such a nice You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Or counter offer. What just happened there? <laughs> what? Counter offer. Oh. 
we talk to somebody else. Oh yeah, we got this. Sad trombone. Yeah, so you can use inspiration, and you'll get those points periodically for doing things that are within your character's background. So, right. you being a soldier, you'll get inspired for things that you know, and the other characters will get some based on there. Dwarf's fur bristles. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. The wolf bears his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. He would chase you down if not for his master. You did well to speak I'll up for the god. That snake is was kind of the one that was like a tragedy prevented. Oh, snakes! It was a kid. What are you doing, you crazy red-headed lady? Well seen. Well spotted. <laughs> We've let a snake replace our leader. Oh, who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. Uh, no one's looking for your master. Perhaps I could do it? <laughs> would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Uh, let's see. I'd like a more solid offer than anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, Ooh. even if the circle forbids it. Halston is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Right, so Come got some information there. Stay close. Halston's to the west. We have a few that ahead. Oh, we don't have so long. Straight ahead. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. This may be there. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. You and every other soul here. I can help if something's wrong. I'm no Master Halson. But I can manage. Why are you asking? <laughs> Did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth, and tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. <laughs> we need to be quick. This way. I mean, if you're if you're going to, you may as well. Right? Right. Go for the gust. Oh, like a freaking frog hopped into my eye, lady. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. No, I want you to chop this off my arms and legs with a chainsaw. So I attacked I us in the woods together with some goblins. <laughs> <laughs> Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. <clears throat> Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start.
It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers mm. aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Right, we'll make someone else drink it. Got it. Time, Come on. <laughs> Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than ceremophosis, nonetheless. Better than becoming a mind player. Keep it. These things start to go very wrong. So like this wooden chest, even though we can loot it, it's got a red aura around it. When you look at it, that would be steel. Or the jar there. Yeah, I got you. Even pushing your thumbstick in, you'll see everything pretty much red. Oh wow, yeah. Ridiculous. Alright, so we're just really out of here. She's a child. A dead child. One Alright. Westward Ho. Hmm.
So what do we know? We know that there is a crazy ritual going on here by the crazy red-headed druid lady who wants nobody to get in the grove ever again. And the true leader of their people is missing. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. Who's this? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's the girl's parents you just saved. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Mm. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. <laughs> you wish I'd let her. In another 10 years, trust me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. It's our job to get us out of here safely, not yours. It's my job to. The Druids don't care about us. That girl. I don't care what Mole says. Okay. So you Stupid can cast reckless. Dancing Lights once for long rest using that. Uh, anyway. Who? And it, the nice thing is the game automatically adds those new spells from equipment to your own actual for you. Right. This is what it is. Oh, there's Donnie. Hey, Donnie. Funny awesome. <laughs> it's funny as you know about that. <laughs> I told you that story, didn't I? Yeah. The guy back in my hometown that used to ride around on his bike and go, awesome, 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 awesome. <laughs> Donny awesome. He stares right past you as if you're invisible. Or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Oh, you Yes! We've got one! <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Ron! <laughs> or how about this? This is gonna be a big one. This is a really big one. Oh no! God! <laughs> no! God! Please, no! No! Uh, just, you no! might as well drink. It's gonna be a minute. No! Oh, please, God, no! 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 Okay. Hey! What? Oh yeah, can we roll again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know what that means, you guys. Dan gets to eat a Carolina Reaper, which is this one. Yeah, nice knowing y'all, folks. And I get a nice big old fat Dipstick of the Dave's Insanity sauce. Ugh. Dan brought tons. I might actually be using those tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bruh. Oh, here we go. You see that? Awful. Mm. Goodbye, taste buds. What taste buds? <laughs> <laughs> this takes a minute. If you. Uh oh, I'm not licking that off. 
<laughs> Do I have a paper in here? Let's see, what is this? I need to keep that. What's this? I need to keep that. I have tissues. They're way back there. Um. Hmm. Oh wait, I know where tissue is. <laughs> it's technically a. Uh, gonna be throwing the garbage now because. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna up the other. A couple on that. Ooh. Brutal. Hey! I'm not so smart on a natural one. It's not doing anything. Oh. What's it doing? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe try clicking out of it? You look the there rules over, but find no sign of a way through. Ah! Uh, what a turd! All right, where are we? Going? I was just making sure you got the tutorial tip about critical fails. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're headed that way. <clears throat> Looks like we can talk to uh, nobody. We're exposed now. Whew. Little arm. That one burns pretty good. Yeah, it's a little warm. Let's see here. Is that where we're supposed to go? Through the door. My tongue is a little on the numb side. And I got some on my lip, which is just like. Yeah, so with that, I have to I have to say this. Just saying. Didn't do this when I'm going to. Uh. Whew, little Sarah Connor eating a nuclear blast. That's that's what it was right there. You doing all right there, Dano? Nope. No word from the scouts yet. I heard what happened. these will help. They're not. Thank you yeah. <laughs> for protecting the child. <laughs> that, good, if the druids are this help. far gone, then it's not oh, just no, goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here. We're good, though. Or face it for certain on the road. Quite the Ooh. choice, isn't it? That's a spicy meatball. Right. <sighs> No, the druids are too powerful. We can't stand against them all. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. A low thought, but I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Corga, within striking distance. I can't manage that, but they've already let you pass once. <laughs> to get these people to Baldur's Gate? Everything. I'm still hoping Corga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Okay. Just Zevlon, Tilly. No. Nope. We're civilians now. With respect, sir. Mm. Get back, kid. I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not sure how to get <clears throat> where we're going. 
So, uh, we'll need to leave the grove and head west, it looks like. Yeah. Oi! Yeah. So this guy's having an argument with the kid. You threatening me! He's like, you threatening me! Because he's about ready to smack the child. <clears throat> I'm going with my, uh, my clericiness and gonna give myself a little boost here. So, here's the hoping. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He. How the hell's with this? These little devils get away with everything because of cuddly bastards like you! You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bunch of little thieves these kids are. Right. Huh. You can head out and um, head west. Nothing else you want to see here? Nah. <clears throat> Not at this point. Okay. At least we got to talk to Bolo, the, uh, the charlatan bard. He is a really famous uh, figure in D&D. In fact, I think he was in the other games as well, prior to this. Which, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, they're old, old games. Um, and they ran off the advanced D&D Thacko system, so it's, uh, yeah, it's not super great. Also, it wasn't turn-based combat, it was all action combat, but you had to, in real time, try to orchestrate and uh, get your party to do cast spells and all sorts of things. Um, it's very chaotic, a very tough game to, to manage. So, having the turn-basedness is uh, a little helpful. <laughs> I mean, you do you, man. I'm going to head back down toward the gate. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, that's where we smack the crap out of that crap big bugbear guy. Darn barbarians bouncing everywhere. Barbarians bounce! Tap A to use it. We have a shovel now. Yo ho, you're a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Open buried measure. Oh. Yeah, left and right with all ah. the frontiers. Oh, no, Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Oh. Nice view. Can't see anything. So if you're looking, you can use. Uh, there you go. That'll help you. Out. Just like it. Gets a little finicky when everybody's in close proximity. One bunch. This goes back down to the freaking. Indeed. Freak am I even going? Let's go this way. Well, we uh, head this way across the logs and then to the left. If not over, and through. We'll be able to head out. Through it, go. Through a gate, not Baldur's Gate. <laughs> right. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? Food. Freshest fish I've 
ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat is now that's a difference. Rare as can be. Dripping. Not right. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. Ed's gonna be dead. A strange symbol glows, marked Ooh. on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do, I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Uh oh. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin. Ed. Please. He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Hmm... I don't know. What do you think, Dan? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, we always send them to their death. That's always fun. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking option seven. Forget the owl bear. You're you're still alive, so go. Well, and and just <clears throat> leave it. I suppose, I suppose. I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. Get your arse out of here. True soul? Absolute? What did they mean? They're clearly devoted to the absolute, whatever that is. Indeed. I see a cave, I don't know what you <laughs> Just cause, that's gonna take us out of the oh. way. Oh. The city is a veritable feast of sweet hearts. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer picking without any problems. What is that? Uh, that was a small nook, so you have smaller characters or a druid character class you can turn into like a mouse or something or a cat and get through the, um, the small areas of leads to see. Okay. 
guidance. Guidance. It can only go on once. I got you. I don't think you needed it. Nope. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name, Scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. Hmm, don't know what that's gonna do. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. That's how I pet my dog. Like this? <laughs> the dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Oregon trail style. Maybe we can forge the river. Obviously, we want to loop that guy's body. Dog will probably not be happy. Hard to do that. <laughs> Drunk. You need help. Fine. Long way to go still. Very good. She's a princess. Ooga good shot. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Hey, look, she made it. Yeah, amazing. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh, okay. Really. Wonder what it opens. Blood, blood everywhere. What is that? Devil Will has been tasked to kill. I have no idea. 
I'll leave it up to you. Me! Never been better. Oh, fuck me. It's you, <laughs> from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of... A great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies, as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. It's a tad point in our heads. <laughs> yeah, it's... Fuck's sake. <laughs> Mountains as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Guess that explains the voices. <clears throat> From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are... Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, <laughs> if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Want to help me take them down? <laughs> Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. <laughs> Should the need arise. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Or what are you feeling? Uh, I mean, we're an hour and ten minutes right now. Yes. It can hurt to do another battle. Okay. Well, we'll uh, let's swap um, Shadowheart out at the camp real quick and we'll grab Harlac. So how, do you, how do you go camp again? Alright, so R2 and then just select the campfire. Oh, that's. We'll see our camp looks a little different than it did in the, the tomb. Right. So we're gonna go to who we, who we swapping with who? Okay. So behind, we're gonna grab Carlac here in a second. But we need to come over here to Shadowheart, and you just need to tell her to chill out in camp for a little bit. Gotcha. This is kind of the way we the game works. We may have to increase our camp provisions now that your, we have Carlac along for the journey. And, those muscles different, uh, don't run them fresh air, I'll wager. Nice. Still, she'll be useful in a fight. At least she agrees she likes the new person. So, uh, yeah, option three. 
If you're sure. They'll always make you feel a little guilty about Fine. saying I'm sure. But I'll be here whenever you rediscover your so. taste in company. Something the developers <laughs> did very well. <laughs> Making you feel guilty. I'm trying to trying to actually make you care about these characters a little bit. Hey, no. Ah. Hey, soldier. Aces. All right. So we go ahead and level, level up her up. Jeez. Let's go, Ken. Oops. Da, da, da. <laughs> She's a barbarian like you, so it should uh, be pretty uh, straightforward in terms of how she operates. Nice thing is you can give her a totally different subclass if she'll play different. Well, the cool thing about that is now her rage gives her different random magical abilities when she acts. We can leave camp and it'll put us right back where we were. Uh, she said at the top of the hill, so on we go. Push them, you want to just go in the front door, how do you want to do this? Oh, to split them off? No, how do we ambush? Okay, so, um, you have, uh, on your Weapon wheel, you should still have like a ranged attack, I think. Yeah, or so. Uh, you could start with a ranged attack and then get into melee, however you want to do it. There's two targets below you. We can also go into turn based mode if you want to keep them from moving a whole lot. And usually. It'll take a couple shots before they go hostile, so Alan might just be a little mad at you right now. Um, start initiative with the other, you just still able to pop shots off. Oh, that was Whoa, lady, come back here. Hey, I didn't give you permission to leave. Where do you think you're going? Okay, so um, on every turn after this, you have a new option on your radio uh, wheel on that far one to shoot lightning bolts at the enemy's chest. Go ahead and shoot this brazier. Make it a little harder on that person below us to get around. He's outside now? Yeah, I'm all One of them is uh, just chilling out up here. Okay. Good. 
Congress yet. this so that is the lightning bolt is part of her magic rage so she gets wild magic every time you rage with her for an, a random ability or a bonus action you can cast that as a ranged attack and she gets basically a free magic spell. there are other things like uh it randomly chooses what the ability is every time you activate it um, in different combats. So there are things like uh, you can teleport around the battlefield sometimes or um, make terrain underneath you difficult for all those that are within melee of you so they can't get rid of you. Kind of quite everything. Another day, another fight. Smack it. Wow, she is Going, lady. Oh, oh critical killer. hit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, go reckless. Nice. Broke her concentration. I wonder if she was doing too. A uh, sneak attack. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck Thoriel. I won't go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we might want to get out of the uh, house. Yeah. I think she's about to freaking nuke it. I'm a stereo. I'm a stride. I like going ballistic. Whatever killed those men. That barbarian rage, man, I tell you. <laughs> She's still there. Dude. Now the guy you just killed, as soon as she's done with her uh, camper tantrum here, the guy you just killed has a really badass sword on him. It's a great sword. I wish he already got it. I think he did. Yeah, I think I did too. That's what I'm looking for. Thing is 
6 to 16, and then you also uh, so that uh, armor protection that gives you plus 2, the sword allows you to do that. You can activate it using the sword and give it to yourself. It's pretty sweet. Well, there is a dusty old cellar, but we can save that for next time. There's some more gear in it. Dude! That is a true barbarian sword. <laughs> Yo! <Yow. laughs> Yo! Too bad I can't insert the clip of the kid on the freaking. <laughs> Don't you know the gooey Sorry, my, my books are late. Ah! <laughs> 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 Alright, are we saving? Yeah, let's go back to camp and uh, have this one a map. Ah! Let's save here. Sweet. Oh, I'll feel that one later. Here we go. Sweetness. All right. All right. So let's party on. <laughs> party on, Wayne. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Before we leave, though. <laughs> A regular Jalale La Belle. Did that one earlier, man. That's a lot. No. Okay, but buttered popcorn or rotten egg? Oh boy! Here we go. One, two, three. Ah. What? Uh uh. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, here that go. I got that. Damn, it's good to be alive. <laughs> Usually these things don't run 50-50, folks. Just saying. Poop again! It's called the shit poop! <laughs> <laughs> it's usually like one in and four. <laughs> or worse odds than that. Mm. <laughs> That's so nasty. So freaking nasty. Well, I don't have any other... I was thinking of other clips I could put, but I'm, I'm thinking... Yeah. Oh, see this. Back to our main screen. Let me pause this. Turn off our sound so I can be heard. Okay, well, I, that's an episode. Yeah. Pretty fun. Got a new, nice, interesting new character and a new weapon. Um, so, yeah. I might end up playing... Bits and pieces of this, pe bits and pieces of this on my own, not on my channel. But I will probably end up doing more episodes with Dan on my channel. So, yeah. um, anyway, and episode four thoughts, Dan. Well, it's uh, I mean, you can kind of see at least within these first four episodes where um, you've just got so much randomization and variability in how the story goes, like. Uh, Episode three, when we went up to the top of that mountain and that bugbear assassin was going to kill the gal at the telescope. If we would have just walked by and gone straight to the grove, uh, we wouldn't have had the chance to talk to her. Right. So there's all sorts of those little nuances that the game has in play at all times that you don't really know. Um, Help, yeah. Helps to look around sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Pass the squirrel test. Pass the squirrel test. Yeah. <laughs> that was the last episode, but that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, I want I want to get your your take on it. I mean, we're only like we're not even like a quarter of the way done with like Act One. Act One is super long. Um, there's a lot of lot more to go. The map is huge, at least in this area, and there are other areas that are connected to this area um, differently. So it's quite expansive. But uh, seems like it. Yeah. What are your feelings? What are your thoughts on this turn-based style of RPG? So very much. Very, very much like uh, 
the original Dragon Age, the first one, which I really loved. I don't even think I beat the original Dragon Age, but I got pretty far. Uh, it was a really good story and sim similar to this. This has got, I think that this is what I, my take on this is it, it is similar to that. And the fact that it's got a great story, similar, kind of similar in a lot of ways, as far as like having the camp and the characters, you can pick a party up to four and, you know, and, and have like the turn based. It's kind of similar, uh, but obviously it's better. Um, yeah, I am most definitely going to keep playing this. I'm just not sure um, exactly how much at this point I'm going to put on my channel, unless I'm playing with Dan. I will definitely be playing both, some of it on my own and then some more with you, Dan. So, definitely. yeah, if I were to give it a rating, um, I mean, it's hard to say a complete – I can't completely decide because we just we just barely just scratched the surface. For, but from what I've seen so far, I would at least at minimum give it like a nine and a half out of ten at least. Um, I mean, it's I really love Dragon Age, so this is this is pretty much the same thing to me, but like better in a lot of ways. Um, there's a lot more in it. There's a lot more dialogue. A lot more. There's a lot going on. And a lot of variance in what you can do with your characters as far as like attacks and spells and the, just the whole D and D thing is just makes it huge. So, which I can respect. Um, obviously you're much, much, much more experienced and in depth with D and D than I am, but um, I do find it very fascinating and enjoyable and I'm excited to, to, to play more, lots more. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you like this style of game, uh, anybody out there, uh, Larian has their other game, their Divinity series, Divinity Original Sin and Original Sin 2. But um, for context, Divinity Original Sin 2 was basically their uh, prototype for this game to ask Wizards of the Coast for permission to use the D&D brand in this game. Oh. And they gave it to them. They, they don't often do that, so it was... Basically, yeah, something they used as proof of concept to help them get the rights to this game. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, Little double A studio, single A, yeah. Right. That's not. That's another one I've never played. It's really good. It's kind of close to this, but a um, little bit less on the D and D roles, but still faithful to a turn-based RPG. Divinity mm -hmm. Original Sin Two is great. And what you're seeing here uh, translate into Baldur's Gate from that experience is like the grease spell and then hitting it with a fireball and chaining combos and having real world items interact with uh, different spells and abilities that you can cast. So right, it makes it so so much more immersive and like real uh, than just you know cast a spell, ooh, attack. You know, melee, you're either doing magic or melee, and it's nothing around you is affected. No other, there's just no other cause and effect type of things. So, yes, definitely. Yeah. I love it. So far, it's been great, man. Freaking, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this pans out from here on out. But uh, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. And Sounds good. Cool. I'm glad you're enjoying <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, hundred percent. Well, let's uh, let's close this one out. Hope you guys enjoyed episode number four of Baldur's Gate three. I know that one was fun. Um, there's some funny moments in this game. Uh, just I don't know. There's some so much good to be said. I could probably talk for another five ten minutes about all the stuff I enjoy about it. But we're gonna get to give it to a close. Leave us comments if you want us to play more. If you have questions or co anything, comments about what you've seen. Solo Sticks and Huckabee signing out of this episode. Say until next time, y'all. As we always say, keep it real.